What is a witch's favorite school subject? What is a witch's favorite school subject? I don't know. Spelling. Remember the cast spell? Spelling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, uh, which letter of the alphabet has the most water? Which letter of the alphabet has the most water? I don't know. C. C. <laughs> Hello, this is Gina. <laughs> Oh, this is Don. <laughs> My jokes had stopped me. <laughs> With Focused Healthy Family, and it's time for another Tuesday, Tuesday tip. Tips. So today I've got, I'm looking at an image that you probably pulled off of social media, Don. Yeah. And what it says is subjects that should be mandatory in schools. And there's little pictures for each of them, but we'll go through them here. Yeah. Just thinking about things that you don't typically get taught in school and are things that are essential that we all really need to learn. The first one is taxes. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> how to do, yeah, as soon as you have a job, right? That's something you need to learn how to do. And yet, does anybody ever learn that? In, I mean, finance in general is something that, um, and that's another one on here is personal finance, but it goes hand in hand with that and learning how to manage money. And I know with homeschooling our kids, they are, I know our oldest did a co-op and they did a personal finance class in that co-op. And I know there's programs out there that you can find for your kids, but wouldn't it be nice if it was a mandatory well, part of curriculum? Because and this is going to be coming out right before tax time too. So the, you, know, you got a chance now to get your children involved with that as you do your taxes might be an idea. Pick up an extra, what is it, the, the tax form. 1040 EZ form. You can pick them up at the library or whatever. Kind of even play with it, even yeah. if they're young kids. So you they... know, or maybe, you know, if they, they do something around the house for money or they, you know, make a small amount of income some way or just some, they can pretend. That they pay taxes. Um, and there's other programs to do. But, yeah, things that are essential skills that, and all of a sudden, there you are. And you've got to remember, I still remember our, our second child. Her older brother taught her how to do her taxes. Oh, yeah. Helped her through it. And uh, it was neat to see that he helped her with it. Coding. I guess because coding is everywhere in the world mm -hmm. that they feel like everyone needs to learn a little bit about. It would be useful if we all knew something about coding. I know. Yeah, I think because, I mean, we're in such a digital age of everything that uh, so. Cooking. Oh, yeah. So I had home ec. Did you have home ec when mm -hmm. you were? That was... Did you have cooking? Or in the 60s, were boys, did boys go separate well, from girls? Well, we didn't girls? have that uh, in the 70s because I was in high school. Oh, we had it in middle school. We didn't have middle school. I don't know what this middle... <laughs> why, who wants to put a school in the middle of things? You have grade school and high school. There's only a middle. In the 80s, <laughs> we rotated four different quarters... We did um, shop, we did um, a metal or woodworking project, we did um, cooking, we did sewing. Oh yeah, I'm trying to think. There what were the, four total. This was the home whether it was uh, a full. That's how we did it when I lived in Pittsburgh in the I early 80s. I think it was 80s. a full thing, I think. And we were, we were, I, I don't, I think, I don't know if we were the first class to have boys in it yeah i'm sure there was a time but it was, was we were, it, i think we might have been the second class and i think a couple one or two of my friends came in and did it too which is interesting because if they were you know making kids in the 50s 60s whatever girls learn, take cooking classes were, were they putting boys in finance classes and no. learning how to manage a checkbook no um but yeah don't we all need to learn to cook on some level and um it's a really great skill that you can learn at a young age really well as, as more i think more people wait to get married they, they live a single life it, it's probably pretty important to know how to cook some stuff at least boil water <laughs> <laughs> um insurance hmm. my father was a um financial planner for the second half of his career and so I learned a little bit about that kind of world and yeah, I guess could... understanding the ins and outs of health insurance of life insurance and what you need and what you, you know and getting it and getting it young helps cost wise to understand it basic home repairs what <laughs> maybe you have a parent who is handy and you learn from them with doing things around the house and 
I wouldn't did. it be helpful if we all, you know, we could learn that in school? So kids who don't have those opportunities at no. home would have that ability to do that. It's Almost like shop, having a shop class. Um, and some some high schools do have shop classes. I, when... Typically, if you're not on the college path, you get these classes, which is funny because, you know, any of us, no matter what kind of job we get, there's these skills that we all need, no matter if we live in an apartment or, you know, we need to know some basic skills of taking care of things in a home or an apartment or... Well, you know, and I think it, at the going on down the path of... Um, not going to college, but going to what, what would you call it, the uh, trade school? Trade school. Those people make some good money. I mean, we've had plumbers out here, and you know, different things, and they're making pretty decent money. So, yeah. Um, Self defense. Yeah, that. I... That is something that you know, and they have like women empowerment and mother daughter classes, but it's something that all kids could use because there's plenty of boys or those who identify as non-binary that could benefit from some basic self-defense because you never know when you're in a situation and if you know some basic techniques that you can use to protect yourself um well and it's also what what they teach you know they teach it it doesn't just teach self-defense it teaches discipline it teaches well but you can you can learn you're talking about martial arts but i'm talking about just learning basic self oh well yeah self-defense skills we did at at a martial arts studio for the girl scouts years ago um one of the parents did a whole class just for self-defense and taught moves and maneuvers that you can do if you know someone attacks you if something happens to be able to defend yourself so you can just have one class and learn some basics and even from that have something to take away with so these are things look into be you know you're not finding them where your child is going to school what can you do to add these things i've always wanted to meet marshall I, he must have been a neat guy that started that whole thing you live in the town of marshall <laughs> marshall <laughs> survival skills it makes me think of boy scouts and uh <laughs> yeah yeah um you know basic first aid that's not on here but basic first aid <laughs> you know kind of goes hand in hand with that cpr and, and things like CPR, that cpr um and a totally different note social etiquette <laughs> no <laughs> so lovely <laughs> an interesting way to phrase that i would say just social skills in general and making conversations with well, civility maybe too oh wow you're going back to like the 1950s <laughs> civility well, i think coming to learn about civility <laughs> well nowadays though <laughs> that isn't interesting... that isn't so far-fetched civility, now in the way so i don't know it's, yeah well what do you think of when you think of that i don't know <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> just pulled that word out of the it air it came out of somewhere <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> but problem solving yeah. Um, well, how did how did how did well? It's so I guess socializing really is what you know how to interact with others, how to be you know, um, well, just and and politeness and and things you know that you know I don't I'm thinking know. More and the, current like cultural appreciation and understanding yeah. people's differences and respecting people's differences and um, and thinking about that in those terms. There's a lot of different ways you could go with those kinds of ideas public speaking oh yeah so our son did um toastmasters no, no. Ga- gavel gavel club is a type of toast it's, it's like a it's, junior it's, version it's, there's a version for first he did it as a middle schooler or a younger version then he did it kind of the high school level and you learn public speaking skills and yeah. it's done in a fun environments of support and um almost like a game in some senses do they do the same thing in toastmasters where you count people's ahs and ums and yeah. you yeah they have some there's a you have each, each class there's somebody that does that there's somebody that times there's a whole everybody has a role that's role, participating yeah. there and what, a couple people are doing speeches and then people are giving feedback mm-hmm. written feedback on those speeches and then different people have different roles that they play for that so toastmasters is the adult version of the program but you can look for a gavel program I think, or... luckily when i was in grade school i actually did a speech speech club and i, I actually won a ribbon for a poem called abigail 
I wish I could find it. I don't know, but uh, I, I had to go around. Did you write the poem? No, oh. no. It was I don't know. I think the whoever was the leader of it gave me the the gave it to me. I think if I remember right. So for reading the poem was that was your speech? Yeah, but not. I I had to memorize, memorize it. it. Oh yeah, we had. And to I had to go around. We went throughout all the classes and had to do it, and then we had a contest. Uh, they had a an actual competition. I got third place in it. Oh. Not bad. I remember having to memorize and do a speech in front of my class and how terrifying it was yeah. <laughs> having to do that. But I pushed myself in high school to take a speech class as an elective. So, uh -oh. what did you just do? shut down. Oh, there's a phone call coming through. So, remember, how you speak to your children today or listen to them shapes their future and yours.